Do you want to learn how to create easy forms, surveys, or quizzes? Google Forms is one of the best ways to do this. And the best part, it's all free. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create your very own forms from scratch. We'll even go over a real example from beginning to end by creating your own custom quiz. Let's get started. Head over to Google. Make sure you're signed into your Google account. Next, click on the menu display with nine dots in a square shape. At the very bottom of this menu will display forms. Click on this to launch the app. Alternatively, you can just type Google Forms in the Google search bar and simply click on the first option. This will now take you to your Google Forms home screen. On this page, you can switch between docs, sheets, slides, and forms easily. On the left box, click on go to Google Forms. There's also a quicker way to navigate to Google Forms. Type in forms.google.com in the address bar. Once you're inside of your form, it may look similar to other Google applications. Google has made all of their applications similar in layout. This is to make ease of use much easier for people to learn each one. Once in here, you can browse the template gallery to see if there are any templates that are similar to the one you want to create. This can be a great way to get a head start on a form you wish to make. As you can see here, there are more options for you to check out. Feel free to explore this more in depth on your own. Scroll up to the very top and click on blank form to start this form from scratch. This is what the basic form looks like. Sometimes this layout changes from time to time when Google makes updates. Where it says entitled form, this is the title of your form. For a basic example in this video, we will create a basic adding and multiplication quiz. Simply type in adding and multiplication quiz for the title. Next under this will be the form description. Let's just add basic multiplication and addition quiz. If you click on each box, it will expand into more options. If we click on the top box, we can edit our form title and description. Click on the box below this. This will give you options to add your first question. On the right side will display a vertical menu with additional options. Here you can add more questions by clicking on the top icon with a plus symbol. Keep in mind, this is just an example. So the equations and the questions will be very simple, even for me. Where it says untitled question, this is what your question name will be. For our first question, let's just add what is 2 plus 2. Next to this will display the ability to add an image. Kind of irrelevant on this quiz, but I will do an example question towards the end of this video. You also have the ability to change the type of question you are asking. With this question, we would like this to be multiple choice. You can change this to short answer, paragraph, check boxes, drop down, and much more. You can also change the way the multiple choice questions are displayed by clicking on multiple choice grid. For this question, let's just display the standard multiple choice layout. On the right side menu where we added questions earlier, there are some other features here that are very useful. Under add question, there are import questions. If you have set up previous questions on another form, you can import them quickly without typing everything out again. To do this, click on the form you wish to import questions from. This is a form from the template gallery. After a few seconds, a menu will appear on the right. Click on any specific questions you want to import by giving it a check mark. Then press import questions at the bottom. You can see this question has been copied. Let's get rid of this question as it has nothing to do with this form. Press the trash can icon at the bottom of this question. You can also add another title and description if your form is broken up into multiple sections. Click on the uppercase and lowercase t icon. Here you can also add images to your form. Click on this icon here. You can upload images directly from your computer. Upload from Google Drive and even select images from Google. Let's just search for an image from Google and search math test. This one kind of works. The image may insert on a location you don't want it at. You can easily move these. Hover over one of these cards or questions and six dots will appear near the top. Hover over this, left click and hold down and drag up to wherever you want. I will drag this up towards the top. This image is now at the top of our form. If you want to, add an image title in here. 
You can also add videos from YouTube to these questions. Click on video and paste in the URL on this line. This may be a good way to give hints for questions on a quiz. You can also break this form up into individual sections. To do this, click on this icon to add a section. You can do this if you only want a certain amount of questions per page, or if you want to break this test up into multiple parts. Press Ctrl Z to undo this section. Click Option 1. This is where you will be putting in your multiple choice answers. First put 3. In Option 2, let's add in a 6. In Option 3, let's add in a 4. And in Option 4, let's add in a 5. If you hover over each answer individually, you will have the ability to put in images. If you wish to delete an answer, simply press the X. You can also duplicate this question by pressing this button here. You also have the ability to make questions required or not. Click on the three dots next to this for additional options. Let's click on shuffle these options in random order. Let's add a different style question. I have copied in a word problem for basic math. If you wanted the responders to answer a question differently, simply select the answer style. For this, let's just select short answer. We will make this a required question as well. Let's add in another question not related to math at all. Let's add in, what is your favorite house pet? Here we will change the options to images. Make sure it is on multiple choice. Let's add dog for our first choice. We should also add in an image here as well. Hover over the image icon and go to Google image search. Type in dog and select any picture you want here. Don't forget to press insert. Let's also add cat. Do the same as before and Google image search for the picture you want. Repeat this process for different animals. I will add in a rabbit option and a hamster option. Don't forget to insert images for each answer. Well done. You created your own form. Now that we have gone over basics and getting our form created, let's get into additional settings. On the very top menu on the right, the first icon will allow you to change your theme. Here you can add your own image. Change your theme's color, background color, and font style. Click on Choose Image to add an image to your header. Google has stock images for you to use if you choose to. Let's click on this one. Google will automatically pick your theme color related to your picture. You can still, however, change this if you want. You can also change the font style. I'd recommend keeping this basic. You can also preview your theme and how it looks. To do this, click on the eyeball icon. Once in preview, this is what your users will see. Next to this will be the arrows here, which you can use to undo and redo your work. Pressing send gives you other options in how you want to send this to your users. You can send by email, create a link, or get an embedded HTML code for something like your website. The most common use is to create a link. When in the link section, you have the option to shorten this link. Press copy and you can paste it wherever you need. Back in our main section, in the middle, slightly down from the top, are additional tabs you can adjust. Click responses. Here you can choose to allow users to fill this form out or turn it off if you are no longer accepting responses. This can be great if there's a deadline on this form, if it is an event or a quiz. To turn this off, simply click this icon here to toggle it on or off. If you like looking at data in a spreadsheet style, you can export this to a Google Sheet by pressing this icon or by clicking the three dots and downloading the responses as a CSV. Inside the three dots menu, you can also toggle on to receive email notifications when a response has been added. Next to responses is settings. Here you have the options to make this quiz have more functionality. When pressed, it will open more options. Or you can choose to release the grade after the quiz is completed or wait for a manual review. Or you can offer point values based on the questions you have in this form. In the responses section, you can choose to collect emails, send responders to copy, and allow response editing. Under presentation, you can choose to show the progress bar and shuffle the question order. Next under defaults, you can toggle on to choose to collect email addresses by default. In questions default, you can choose to make all questions required. This is useful for a quiz, as all questions are required. 
If you are collecting names for an event, some information on the form may not be mandatory, and this is where you can turn this off. That is going to wrap up this video. If you like this video, let me know in the comments. I plan on creating more Google Forms videos including tips and tricks and real examples with a step-by-step -step tutorial of creating forms that you can make. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss another one. See you guys in the next video, and thanks for watching.